look at commercial Gadget range of coffee machines. And we're going to start with the uh, the GD Compact. The GD Compact. We're going to start by making an espresso. Okay. Let's start, start You're going to make coffee. Yeah. Yep. 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 Straight for the Holy Grail. So here I've got a 14 gram basket. Fill it nice and full. Obviously your tamper. And give it a good tamp down. Always make sure the rim's clear, as always. And then in we go. So we're going to make two coffees here. We're going to go through the buttons and what they are at the moment, but uh, I'm going to use the free flow button because I've got programmable buttons on here as well. So we're just going to express about an ounce. It's going to be a perfect espresso. I can feel it. I can feel it. Excellent. I'm, go. going to, I'm looking forward to that. That's very good. Yep. So as Ra said, this is the GD Compact range and we're showing you here the two group machine. So this is a plumbed in machine and compact. We're going to explain that in a moment. Yep. So the size of the boiler is what makes it compact. Really. Yeah, it's a 4.9 litre boiler. Usually on a regular model, you have a 13 litre boiler. Okay. This one has got a 4.9 litre boiler. That means that your amount of water that you have in the boiler for steam and hot water are limited to that. Okay. Uh, so if you need uh, a lot more water uh, for your teas and Americanos, then you are better off going for... That's your perfect espresso. Yeah, there, that's, that's nice. Just a little bit short of an ounce, that. So semi semi ristretto, that one. Yeah, that's quite nice. That's a very strong coffee. It's it is a, very strong. It's a corposo, I think. It is yeah. completely corposo coffee, yeah. which we has a very high, uh, a, robuster content yeah. and a pretty pretty strong good kick. Get you get you wake in the morning. Get you wake in the morning. So as we say, this is plumbed in. We do a couple of tank filled models. So for anybody doing outside catering or anybody who wants to move their coffee machine around and not have it in a fixed location, the tank filled are fantastic. And there, there's an option on within the GD range. There's a one group head, isn't it? And obviously it's a one group boiler. head. One group also can come with the 4.9 litre boiler, plumbed oh, in. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can also have a tank filled version, which yeah. is a, a 2.3 litre boiler yeah. with a two and a half litre tank, yeah. which is ideal for sort of moving around so if you are sure. in an office and you haven't got the plumbing in sorted sure. you can just have a, a 2.3 litre boiler machine. Uh, it's not really designed for like coffee shops obviously really no. and I mean if for a 2.9 you wouldn't really move on and make more than maybe 50 cups a day, 50, 60 cups a day? I think a two like group that. machine, uh, uh, yes. On a uh, tank field, one group. Tank field one up group. to about 50 coffees yeah, a day. Yeah. That will comfortably say. do that and it will cope with that. And I suppose if you go beyond the, the 50 mark then you really need to be looking at something like this. Yes, and if you go beyond the 150 mark, then you would go for a regular size because you'll need a lot more uh, hot water for yeah. um, sort of, you know, Americanos, teas and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're plumbed into the mains, obviously, and the waste is also ma mains waste, so that goes straight away. Uh, we always, always recommend a filter. That's yep. very important. Even if you are in a n sort of a soft water area, it's mm. recommended because you, you, you have chemicals in the water sure uh, and therefore if you have a filter it takes out the the smells of the chemicals and the taste of the chemicals yeah if you're in a hard water area it is absolutely essential absolutely that essential, you have yeah. a really good uh, quality filter yeah. and you need to be changing it regularly as well yeah. I mean when we supply these we fit the machines as well yes. and obviously we fit the filters you yeah. do need to have it ready sort of plumbed ready with you holes in the counter and the, the, the plumbing right. ready to go you just need the electric sorted so yeah. if you are if you have this one it's very easy in terms of electrics because it yeah. just plugs into a normal 13 amp. 13 amp socket because yeah. it's a 2.5 kilowatt boiler yeah so that you know, you just plug and play. Yeah, basically. there's no yeah. three phase or no there's special no three phase requirement. But if you yeah. needed a thir 30, 13 litre boiler machine, which is the regular size, yeah. that would need 32 amp. So that you need to really be prepared when uh, yeah. some, you know, when it is installed, you need to have the electrics as well. Okay, so we've got, so the water comes in, the waste goes out, yep. and then we've got on here, uh, you've got, like, I think you touched on the heat exchanger, which is where the espresso comes from. Um, and that, that carries how heat, much? Yeah. The, tea, the water for your coffee yeah. always comes through from the mains. Yeah. And it's heated through heat exchange. So that's like an instant heat, is it? Or? It's instant heat. Okay. So it, it, the, the way it's heated comes through, the pods actually go through the boiler as well. But when it comes here, it is heated as well. So there is a heat exchanger that takes place between uh, the, 
entry into the machine okay. as well as outlet into the machine. So these are controlled by thermostats. Okay, well, both heads separate. Thermostats. That's right. yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've got on this particular machine, uh, as we start start from the left hand side, we'll right, left to right, we've got the water outlet here. So this is for your, uh, say, Americanos or teas or any other where you want to dilute anything. Uh, that's yeah. hot water. Then you've got your first group and your second group here. Yeah. On the group heads, you've got single and double small and large. So you've got four programmable buttons. That's right. So you have got a single espresso, yeah. two espressos, one large, two large, Lungo and, and an override. Okay. So the override, I always call it free flow, but over, override is right really. Yes. So it's on and off. You can, if you, you can. want to do a specialty coffee, a longer right. coffee, or very short ristretto, you can do that without programming your other buttons, which is yeah. always quite handy. But obviously for your standard espressos, one ounce, two ounce, we've talked about that in other videos, you know, you would set these maybe to one ounce and two ounce, single and double. So that's always very good. So you've got the two group heads, you've then got your semen arm. And the thing with these machines, with most commercial machines, you can use all things simultaneously. Yes. So you're not restricted. So you can be, if you've got your programming button knocking out two espressos, you can start frothing your milk at the same time or get some water out and do all those sort of things. Really. Correct. One of the mistakes people always think always make when they're two group machines, they always tend to use one group all the time. So you're here and do that. I do. When yeah. I'm in the office, I always make, always use this head. Yeah. Never, never, I don't think I've ever used that head. I think it's a good thing to do Practice both. to switch, yeah. yeah you because should switch, you'll yeah. find that the rubber seals will go off uh, sure. you know, it gets, it gets harder and harder yeah. over a period of time. And if you are using only that one, that's going to yeah. cause problems. Where's and that? also if you're in a hard water area. Guilty, guilty as charged yeah. with that one. Yeah. And if, <laughs> you are, if, if you're in a hard water area, yeah. if you don't use the, the group, it tends to build up scale. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to actually run Always the water alternate, through. Alternate yeah. group heads. So one thing about the programming, when you program one side, that's duplicated automatically onto Absolutely. the other side. So that's quite yeah. a good thing. You don't have to mess around uh, programming. And obviously once you've done your programming, that's it. You really yeah. don't have to do it. And because you've got your override or free flow button, yeah. you know, you can you can use that as, right. as, you, as you were really. In terms of porter filters, um, we I use the other one with the two spouts, the splitter on the hair. We also get a single spout. So you get two of these. You get two of those and Double. one of those. One single. Yeah. yeah. So again, in, a, in an environment, you know, you keep this maybe with a single shot basket, yeah. a seven gram basket, this with a 14 gram basket and then you can always alternate between. You also get a blank. Where is it gone? There it is. Probably can't see that very well but that's a blank dish so there's no holes in this. That's right, that's just to back flush yeah. every, every evening. So or this is a cleaning know. device so you put that into your water filter, run some water on your free flow and just back flush the, the, the brew head. Just clean yeah, so there are some cleaning procedures, you just need to clean the head with a brush. You have to use that every day to clean the uh, the shower disc and the shower head and such like. So yeah. because oil, coffee oils get stuck on, they can do. on uh, these yeah. uh, shower Especially if you're using discs. a very dark roasted coffee, you get a little bit more oil out of the coffee beans, so That's that can right. build up over time. And you know, if you're making a lot of coffees, you do need to keep keep it clean. Obviously, the and it keeps the baskets clean. It keeps the course, yeah. water filters clean. So it's a really good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 So and that's I've got a cup warmer as well. Of course, sorry, yep. I didn't touch the cup so, warmer. We yep. didn't do that, but uh, always, I always stack them this way and get told off. So I always stack them that yes, way. Yes, that's right. Because, because when you're drinking it, you don't want it to be too hot <laughs> too here. Too hot, yeah. So it's always best to yeah. keep it that way. Yeah. Yep. So that's the GD two group compact range. So as we say, there are many other options available. We have a PDF that you can yes, download. On our website, gadgetdirect.com, uh, you can have online uh, advice as well as you have got PDFs uh, sure. that you can download. Uh, so you go to gadgetdirect.com. Our details are there, telephone numbers, and uh, there are uh, all the models. So you can see the, the regular models, the, uh, the compact models as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably yeah. So for any further information, there's yeah. quite a lot on the website. But if you want any advice or any, yeah. uh, if you want to quote for anything, then we also feel free to contact we also us. do training at the time of installation. We do. So barista training courses are uh, sort of done on at the time. Yeah. Usually, uh, when we go to install machines, everybody is sort of you know starting up and they don't have all the people. No, sure. So if you really wanted to do a barista training course later we can do that as well as yeah. a group, yeah, but we'll it's best you, yeah. if it is done at the time of installation, installation of course, it's yeah. much easier for everybody and it's less costly as well. Yeah. We haven't really talked talk about the grinders, but there are grinders available. Well, the MD64 yep. is our main selling grinder. MD64 is what I normally recommend yeah. for this 
machine, yeah. Yeah. but you can get 85s, yeah. so the diameter of the grinders get bigger, yeah. uh, and therefore it's more controllable in terms of, you know, it's, a, it's adjusting the yeah. grinders. To get a really fine detail, real right. fine control over your grind. Yeah. You can also get uh, uh, on-demand grinders, and it's quite popular now to actually have on-demand grinders, so you can set the dosage just Precise, yeah. precisely, really precise, yes, yeah. that's right. But there are lots of different things, you yeah. know, in terms of tampers. The machine doesn't come with a metal tamper, no. but we do metal tampers do, as, yeah. a, as an accessory as well, yeah. and jugs and, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll do a few more videos later on about commercial machines, maybe one about the cleaning and using them more, but that's yep. the basic introduction to our, our commercial range. And as we say, if there's any more information you require uh, down below there, hopefully you'll find a link. Yes. Um, and you can contact us at... And subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel yeah. because there are lots of useful videos, uh, not only for commercial machines, but we have a lot of videos for uh, domestic machines we as do, well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.